our experience of Kawasaki started in April 2013. Um, my son took ill, uh, he was about eight months old. Uh, I took him to the doctors as you would normally um, and they just put it down to teething or a virus and we were sent home. And they told us just to administer cowpon and keep an eye on him. Um, by four o'clock that day, um, I pretty much had a lifeless baby sitting in his little bouncer. Um, so somebody just told me just to take him back to the, the doctors, which I did. We didn't have an appointment, we just rocked up and um, they were really good. They put us in a little side room so I could have a good cry um, and got the doctor out of one of his appointments to come and look at Jack. The first night that we were admitted was probably the, one of the worst nights of my life. Um, they couldn't get a line into Jack to get any fluids into him, so he was pretty much just lying there like a rag doll for most of the night. But yeah, so we, we spent two weeks in hospital then, basically not knowing what was wrong with him. Um, they, they did various tests, so we had a couple of x-rays, had countless blood tests, a lumbar puncture, um, basically all the tests they could do to rule out everything else. And there was one quite low point during that time when all the medical professionals were crowded around a medical encyclopedia because they couldn't work out what was wrong with him. And I think it's just because they hadn't seen it at that hospital at the time. And then on day 14, they told us that they were going to treat him for Kawasaki's disease, um, which was a, a relief because at least we knew what it was and, what, and they, that he was getting the treatment that he needed. But yeah, as soon as he got the treatment, he, he seemed to perk up. Then we were sent then um, by ambulance to Birmingham Children's Hospital, just so they could kind of confirm that it was Kawasaki's disease, which they did. So we were there a couple of nights and then we got sent home, um, discharged, kind of carry on as normal. You'll be sent an appointment for a, a heart scan in the near future. Um, about four days after that, um, his temperature um, started to go up again. Um, we phoned the hospital that we were in originally and they said, oh yeah, bring you back in. Um, and that's when they did a second treatment for Kawasaki's disease. Uh, and that really seemed to kind of sort him out once and for all. So when, when Jack was first diagnosed, I don't think we knew much about the disease ourselves. We kind of stopped ourselves Googling because um, we'd, we'd Googled so much over the last couple of weeks. Um, so I think until we went for the heart scan, we weren't really sure what this disease meant and what it could do. I think we were in, in denial and also just hoping for the best that nothing had happened. Um, so I think the most shocking time was when we found out about the aneurysms, because you just automatically think that's the end of the world. Jack now has every, uh, checks every six months, so that includes a heart scan. Um, ECG and like an appointment with the, the consultant at our hospital um, and then also being on the medication so because it was, because it's on warfarin um, we go for regular checkups on that we've got a blood testing machine at home so we can do our, our regular checks at home so we don't have to travel into hospital it, that makes it a lot easier so yeah we just we just keep on going as we are and we just do make sure we attend our appointments make sure his heart's working okay and then just carry on as carry on life as normal pretty much